This is Liriodendron tulipifera, commonly called the tulip tree, sometimes called the yellow poplar, and it's from North America. But here we have it growing in the Periander Gardens on the other side of the world, outside of Melbourne in the Dandenong Ranges. This is a tall tree. It can get to 30 metres in height, 90 feet if it's growing in its natural forest situation. If it's growing as a cultivated tree, it's often shorter than this and tends to be broader. As it is a large tree, it's better suited to very large gardens and parks and it's also useful as a street tree. It's deciduous, so in the winter you're going to get sunshine let in, which is great. The leaves are a mid-green and shaped a little bit like maple leaves with the top cut off. And it's the flowers that are shaped like tulips that are the star attraction in late spring into early summer. The flowers commence off as a greenish colour. They open up and they're yellow and they have an orange band around the outside, six petals, and they're very attractive. Sort of cup shaped more than tulip shape in our opinion, and they do point upwards. There are two forms of the tree, this broad spreading type and a fastigate form, or if you like, a more upright narrow form. It's from the eastern seaboard of the United States, but it grows right up through into Canada. The timber is quite dense and it has been used for furniture making over the years. So that's it, the tulip tree. Very attractive flowers. It might be a little bit big for smaller gardens, but if you've got a large garden and you want a feature shade tree, then the tulip tree could be one to consider. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for a look at a whole range of garden trees and shrubs. And as always, good luck with your gardening.